All right, guys, we got another uh, amazing guest here. Sam, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for having me on, Spencer. Um, it's, my, it's a pleasure. It's my pleasure. It's, we've been meaning to make this happen for a bit now. Um, Sam, he just turned 16, so he's super young, but he was 15 closing deals, which is wild. And I, I always think it's super sick to get to get the youngins on here and get their perspective. Um, First question for you, as a as a 16 year old getting into the online space, uh, there's so many shiny objects, there's so many different routes you can go. There's so many creators trying to sell you on different business models. What made you decide on web design in the first place? So it was the start of this year. And as everyone does, you know, you're seeing all the influences like flexing their lambos and selling everything but i don't know i just thought it all through and i was like there's no way i can actually make money through all these ways if you're not really providing value to anyone that's how i came across web design like my dad he was running his business and he was looking for a web designer paid someone like six thousand to do that and i was like what i could have literally done something very similar if i literally just put in a couple months of work learning it so yeah that was really when i started learning web design i learned webflow just got the basics all done on that and then literally launched my portfolio site um just reaching out all my family friends and everything i got like three clients straight up and they were super good to just get experience in the field and yeah just beginning to scale up at the moment Hell yeah, dude. That's that's crazy. Yeah, I mean that's that's an amazing way to get into it when you when you have a dad that's a business owner and yeah, he needs a website. And then he yeah. I think I had another kid on that was young. His name was Trevor, and his mom, yeah. his mom's business needed a website. He kind of got into it the same exact way. Um, but I mean, you still have to kind of be like, were you were you always kind of just like a hustler? I guess I mean you're young. Were you like eleven Whoa. years? selling candy at school or something <laughs> i mean i mean not really like i've always known i want to be successful like it was probably three two three years ago i started going to the gym so i'm just like trying to improve everything i can in all aspects i guess and just set myself up for the next few years like i'm still in school mum and dad they're making me graduate and i don't think that's too bad but once i graduate i think i want to move to bali thailand somewhere around there and just i don't know lock in and go crazy like the opportunities over there look crazy so that should be pretty sick and something to look forward to for sure that's awesome so that second client or okay the second client first client was a family friend right yeah first one was my mom's friend he's just a plumber so he had a website up ages ago that got hacked by chinese or something and he just wanted something to replace that like he doesn't rely on a website he's word of mouth and he's chilling but he just wanted to have something up and running where he can just get like dead end leads pretty much got it and where did the first client come from that wasn't in your immediate network the first one that wasn't in my network was a uh, muay thai gym i literally just reached out through facebook and yeah i get all my out all my leads that i don't um have connections with they're all through facebook like i've tried cold calling everything but i don't know i'm not very good at closing over the phone so i just try to get in with a message in facebook say yeah look i'm a local website designer I've, you can check out my portfolio and then you can kind of gauge if they're interested or not through there but yeah my second was a muay thai gym i literally just said yeah i'm a website designer and they were like yeah let's sounds good and they're getting five extra leads per week just from that having that website up and running so they're seeing crazy results and they're not paying much that's awesome and so so you're in australia have all your clients been in australia or have you had any us i've only had australian at the moment like all of them were in my city until a week ago because yeah i did post that TikTok i was telling you about that kind of went crazy and now i'm getting yeah. like interstate clients and everything so yeah the, it's all been local from up until a week ago now I'm getting leads from all around the country 
Okay, what's your what's your TikTok again? I'm gonna share screen real quick. Um, it should be Brumby Creative. Brumby. So yeah, Sam posted a TikTok, and what? How many deals did you get from that? You got a lot. I've, in a got, I've got about ten leads from that, and I'm working on four projects just from that TikTok. I finished one of them, so yeah, it's going pretty good. That's sick. Here, I'll show the I'll show the viewers here. So yeah. Sam posted this TikTok. I don't think they're going to be able to hear. Um, but basically, yeah, he just 16 years old, sells a $750 website in under two minutes, and he posted the video of it. And it got 180K views. And that translated to what was it, like 4,000 in the first week? Yeah, bro. It was, it was crazy. It popped off. Um, the main thing I've gotten from that is – so there was this one guy he was he just came across the TikTok. he commented something about how easy it is to sell like 10 fifteen thousand dollar websites and he was like yeah i've literally got a ten thousand dollar lead in my agency that i don't have time for do you want me to pass it on to you so i had a chat with him found out he lives literally 10 20 minutes away so now he's mentoring me for free like yesterday i just went over to his house and yeah, his setup's crazy, everything's crazy, but like for the next few weeks, he's just gonna be setting up systems and everything in my business. Like he's making 200K a month, bro, it's crazy. And yeah, like he's like, once I've got you sorted on everything and I think you're capable of fulfilling orders, I'm literally just gonna pass you leads because he's got non-competes in a bunch of areas because when he was first starting out his agency, he agreed with multiple businesses that he can't, like say a plumber in Brisbane, he's agreed that he can't compete. He can't make another website for any other plumbers in Brisbane. So he's getting like five leads per week that he just has to turn down or pass away because he's got non-compete. So he's like, yeah, bro, I've got so much work for you. Like he's just setting me up pretty much. Hell yeah. Well, that's a gold mine for you. And then, oh, hey, no, that's, so that's, the power of, that's the power of content and a personal brand. I mean, it's crazy how that happens. You post a TikTok, and then next thing you know, an agency owner 10 minutes away in Australia that's now going to be bringing you leads. And while you also made 4K in a week just because of a video. Um, yeah, okay. So, yeah, if anybody's hesitant on trying to start a personal brand or post content, that's your sign to just say fuck it and start posting. Um, yeah, for sure. Um I had a bunch of my mates, like when I started my brand, I was like, oh, if anyone finds this, it's going to be so weird. But like all my friends found my TikTok and now they're like, oh, asking me, how do I start web design? So it's like crazy. You just think, you think it's going to go bad, but in the end, like it's a blessing. Yeah. I wish I would have started earlier. It, it took everything in me to like make the first videos I made were on TikTok, like the first content I made. I made a few TikTok videos and I was like, damn, everybody's going to think I'm like a weirdo, like making these yeah. TikToks. And I'm sure people probably were like texting in group chats, like what the fuck is Spencer doing? But who cares? Because <laughs> Exactly, right? <laughs> if, you, if, you make, if you make it, like what are they going to say, right? <laughs> yeah, like, fuck it, who cares? Um, also, yeah, so there, there's another lesson in there. I think probably don't sign non-competes with local businesses because yeah. i mean if because <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to lock yourself in and be turning down a bunch of leads you still obviously you want to bring you want to bring value and if you feel that you can't bring value if you're working with another plumber in the area or another specific niche in the area um then i guess you could do a non-compete but i guess yeah, what the, else? What I find is like, if it's plumbing in your area, bro, you never do a non-compete with that. Like if it's something super niche, like phone party entertainment or something like no one's going to compete with. And there's only maybe like three competitors in the area, then you could like, it's possible. But if it's plumbing, electrician, anything that you can see yourself getting leads and clients through in the future, you just say, no, nah, I'm not going to. Sign non compete with you. Yeah, you just said, yeah, mate, I'm interested in the website. Can I get him a call? All ah, right, yeah. He, he wants to get on the call right now? Nah, we'll do that later. The server. All right. 
All right, yeah, guys. Sorry, we had to pause for a sec. Sam got a message. He got another lead that needs a website. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does it? How, what do? Yeah, speaking of like your friends, I mean, you're 16. I'm sure a lot of your friends aren't having their own like business, making money. What What are they? What are they saying? Um, at first, like it did get around the group chat, and I don't know what they were really saying, but in the end, they're all just asking me questions now, like they're all just working their jobs and i'm at school i'm like oh yeah look at this and it's like a payment for a thousand dollars and that's that's their monthly that's their monthly wage right there so i don't know it's pretty crazy and now they're all just trying to catch up i guess so are you going the do you plan on going like the niche route with your agency or no are you going to niche down i think potentially in the future like I had an idea where I think I still want to keep my main brand be creative, but then possibly just have like a few sub branches like Brumby plumbing, Brumby roofing, something like that. Cause I don't know at the moment, I'm definitely not niching down. Like I think I just need to get as much experience in as many niches as possible and then find what really works. But at the moment, I don't think I will. So yeah, for sure. All right, yeah. So everybody that's watching, they just want to know how to get clients. So what what are you saying on Facebook that uh, that is getting you these leads? You don't so, have to give the exact script, but you can just give a little framework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the main one is going in local community groups and just looking around and posting, like, "Hey guys, I just joined this group. I'm a local website designer. Um, I'm offering." half the prices most other agencies will offer and yeah like the one that i'm doing at the moment is i'm trying to keep all my location independent so i'm not promoting that i'm from anywhere or anything like this might be a bit unethical but i'm going into random local communities from all around australia and just going hey guys i just moved here yeah. i'm a local web designer and i'd love to help out so that's actually brought me in a couple of leads but I don't really know if that's the best way to go about it. So definitely starting local, but then you could look at other methods. Yeah, I mean, if you're in Australia, it's not that bad. At least you're not going no. to like USA. <laughs> like, yeah. hey, I'm but but yeah, no, I always say the best way to when you're starting out, the best way to get clients is first your network, which you did, and then second local, because that's the easiest way to build rapport when you're local. You can. It's it's just war. It's a warmer lead when you can say that you're in the area and you can potentially meet with them in person, um, which just builds yeah. so much trust. Because half of half of selling a website is getting them to trust you. Yeah, I've I've had multiple clients. They literally so there's this one gym near me, and his website designer was from where I'm from, Sunshine Coast, and then he's moved to Canada or something. So then this gym literally just reached out to me look i'm my website design has moved and i only want to support local can you do anything for me so i'm just in the process of redesigning his website purely because his website design is not local anymore so clients will definitely choose you if you're local and yeah so how were you able to get any of any clients from cold calling or no were they all from facebook um i didn't actually get any from cold calling i maybe had two days where i was just dialing but like 10 calls a day like nothing crazy i definitely could convert i'd booked a couple meetings and then they kind of just went through but facebook's definitely my go so i'll have the facebook message and then you can see if they're interested and then i'll just book a call with them and then you're going into that call knowing a bit of info about their business and everything so it's not like you just have no idea what you're talking about and yeah then i just send through an onboarding email get what I need from them, get a domain and get my upfront 50% paid and then get started. Like my process is pretty straightforward and it's working for now. What's the most, what's the highest uh, you've sold a website for so far? My biggest website was, it was just a, like heaps of pages, probably three and a half thousand, four thousand. That was the upfront. And then I always have, a hundred a month for hosting maintenance. So I'm just trying to build that recurring up at the moment yeah, as well. That's, like. the move. that's the move. 
100 yeah. a month sourcing and maintenance that's the move 100 percent. build that that uh, over time that compounds i mean you're 16 by the time you're 19 in three years you'll have all these websites under your belt you'll probably be well over 10k a month just in hosting and maintenance and that's basically yeah, past right, a lot of people <laughs> don't even yeah, need yeah. The hosting uh, and maintenance is crazy like because with every client you get that adds on like you don't really have to do anything unless they want to change on the website or anything so building that up is definitely my priority at the moment like even if i'm selling a website for a thousand dollars i'll take it just to build that up like yeah so are you going to try and double down on the TikTok since you you got so many leads from that i definitely will like i'm not too sure what i'll post because definitely promoting my age gets me in the door with heaps of businesses they just want to help me out but i haven't looked into like i've been posting on youtube and TikTok for the last few months and then these last couple of weeks i've had so many leads i literally don't have time for anything i'm just trying to build some websites at the moment so at the moment i haven't really thought too much about it just fulfilling orders so it's definitely something i'll look more into in the you future should. you 100 percent yeah should. i know if anybody yeah i mean if anybody here is having doubts about websites or, or you're feeling down not getting clients hopefully this can bring you some clarity sam at 16 years old closing three and a half thousand dollar websites when did you get started i got started learning webflow january this year so okay, yeah. i took probably three months learning webflow launched my portfolio site so within six months of made a bunch of money just roughly 30 grand in six months yeah. dude hell yeah sam made 30k in six months at, at 15 basically so if that doesn't inspire you i don't i don't know what should um hopefully that doesn't make you feel like shit if you're like 25 <laughs> trying to get no, your first it everyone, everyone <laughs> said somewhere like yeah you got it so I had no direction like i did not know where i was going when i was like learning it but when you get on the path and just start learning more and more every day it just clears everything up and you you know where you're going yeah 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 i mean it, it's it really is crazy at 16 i don't know what I, I mean i was just playing basketball i wasn't thinking about selling selling websites that's for damn sure yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've always had something in me bro like i don't know even a couple of years ago i wanted to get started on something but i just didn't really know so i just worked uh, at a pizza shop like five days a week after school so i've always been a bit of a hustler and then just yeah, improving everything yes sir well sam and i are gonna do another video here in two months when he's killing it even more going crazy um we're gonna show some crazy results but yeah i like to keep these short um just because the attention spans are messed up but <laughs> yeah i'm gonna link sam's channel and sam's also in the discord um we got a great a great group in there and i'll, I'll link that in the description as well so hopefully we'll, we'll connect with some new new people in there but it was a pleasure having you on sam yeah thanks for having me i'm um, start meditating guys i need to get that attention span up yeah hey so you you meditate yeah bro. like 10 minutes a day it's helped me yeah so okay. much. That, that's why you're so far ahead because you like like you said at the beginning like you're so keen on the the self-improvement stuff mm -hmm. you're going to the gym you're meditating you're doing all that stuff at such an early age and then you just fall yeah, down just you just fall in. It can all compound down the track yeah do you read i do read. Not? i got i got a few books around next to me Four What's your favorite week. book? Nice. I'm actually reading that right now. Um, Unscripted was very good. Like, if you don't think you can get out your job or you think uni is definitely the path, something like that, definitely read Unscripted. That was really good at just removing those limiting beliefs. And yeah, like, there's always a way out of it, you know? My my rec for you would be um, the Surrender Experiment, especially if you like meditating. You should you should definitely read that by Michael Singer unreal book Surrender experiment yeah i'll note that down i'll buy that 